Hello everyone, welcome to solve uh, this math on pedal algebra problem for the values of n and we have the question statement is n cubed plus 1 equals to 3 to the power of n. So the very first step we are going to do is here first we use the nice cubic formula in the left hand side of this equation and you know that if we have a cubed plus b cubed it is equals to a plus b times of a squared minus a b plus b squared so we use this nice formula to the left hand side of this equation so uh, the left hand side of this equation will become in this form n plus 1 times of n squared minus n plus 1 equals to 3 to the power of n so now further in order to solve this problem we need to take some substitutions here uh, and now uh, we will assume that uh, this n plus 1 equals to 3 to the power of x so we just take uh, 3 to the power of x equals to n plus 1 and we take n square minus n plus 1 equals 3 to the power of y. So it will become n square minus n plus 1. And we call this as equation number 1 and this as equation number 2. So when we put these two values uh, to the above equation, so our above equation will become in this form because we have n plus 1 equals 3 to the power of x so we substitute it here and we get 3 to the power of x and we take this equals to 3 to the power of y and this whole equals to 3 to the power of n and now uh, we focus in the left hand side and we use the nice exponential law here so uh, we know that bases are same so we add its exponents and it will be equals to 3 to the power of x plus y and 3 to the power of n so here again we use exponential law and you, you see here bases on both of the sides are same so we equate its exponents and here we get x plus y equals to n and now we call this as equation number 3 so uh, now in order to find the value of n here we focus on equation number 2 and in equation number 2 we have 3 to the power of y equals n square minus n plus 1 and now we copy down uh, equation number 2 here and so uh, it is equals to 3 to the power of y and n squared minus n plus y <coughs> so uh, now uh, we focus on the right hand side and we just rewrite the right hand side as uh, n squared we break this minus n and we write it as plus 2n plus 1 and minus 3n so here we just write this minus n as 2n minus 3n because 2 minus 3 equals to minus n and, uh, and now in the next step uh, we focus on these terms so we uh, equate these terms and it will be equals to n plus 1 whole square minus 3 times of n uh, so now we get uh, after that uh, here we need more simplification to the right hand side of this equation so now we uh, add and subtract minus 3 on the right hand side so uh, now uh, again you see here we have n plus 1 whole square now we take common minus 3 and we obtain n plus 1 and this is plus 3 so now uh, we move to the equation number 1 and you see here in equation number 1 we have 3 to the power of x equals to n plus 1 so we use equation number 1 here so uh, from equation number 1 we have 3 to the power of x equals to n plus 1 we substitute it here and we get 3 to the power of y equals to n plus 1 whole square and we take n plus 1 equals 3 to the power of x it will become 3 to the power of x whole square minus 3 times of 3 to the power of x plus 3 so now uh, in the next step uh, we use the nice exponential law and you see here we have uh, the exponent to the exponent so these exponents are multiplied by each other and we get 3 to the power of 2x minus here 
you see that bases are same we add its exponent and it will become 3 to the power of 1 plus x and this is plus 3 so in the left hand side we have 3 to the power of y and now in the next step we uh, rearrange the terms and here we move this minus 3 to the power of 1 plus x in the left hand side and it will become 3 to the power of y plus 3 to the power of 1 plus x equals to 3 to the power of 2x plus 3 and uh, now uh, here we convert this e equation in two cases so our first case is uh, we just compare both of the sides so now first we take 3 to the power of uh, y equals to 3 to the power of 2x and we take 3 to the power of 1 plus x equals to 3 so in in the first case we assume these values equal, equals to this one and in the second case uh, we take 3 to the power of y equals to 3 and 3 to the power of 1 plus x equals to 3 to the power of 2x. So now uh, we have just two possibilities to equate uh, the both of the sides. So now we use both of these possibilities and we take two cases. So now uh, first we focus on case number one and here we uh, here we equate the uh, exponents so here you see that bases are same so uh, the exponents are equal and we write y equals 2 times of x and here again bases are same so we write 1 plus x equals to 1 so here you easily get the value of x and it is x equals to 1 minus 1 so you get x equals to 0 so now you, you put the value of x here and we easily get the value of y equals to 0. And now similarly, uh, we equate the exponents here and you easily get y equals to 1. And in this case, we get 1 plus x equals to 2x. So here we move this x to the right hand side and it will become 1 equals 2x minus x. So we get the value of x equals to 1. So uh, now we uh, in both of the cases we easily get the values of x and y. And now we move towards uh, our equation number 3. So this is equation number 3 in which we have x plus y equals to n. So we copy down uh, this equation number 3. So we have from equation number 3, it is x plus y equals to n. So now we uh, substitute both the values of x and y in this equation and we easily get the values of n. So now first we put x equals to 0 and y equals to 0 here and we get 0 plus 0 equals to n. So the first value of n is equals to 0. And now here we put x equals to 1 and y equals to 1 here and we get 1 plus 1 equals to n. So in this case you easily get the value of n equals to 2. So finally we have two values of n in this problem. So first is n equals to 0 and the second value is n equals to 2. So this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.